Hi, welcome to this new chapter. Today we will talk about using subqueries to solve the queries. This topic is very important and you should have a lot of information about this topic. It's very simple and easy. Let's start this chapter. Now, what is the subquery? For example, if I give you a question, who has a salary greater than apples? This means that I want to know first what is the salary of apples. So this is called subquery. So I have main query. The main query tell me which employees have salaries greater than apples. First thing I have to retrieve the salaries or to calculate the salaries of apples. Then I will give this result to the main query. So the subquery and also called inner query executes before the main query. The result of the subquery is used by the main query. It is very simple. This is the syntax. You will make select statement from table where you will put expressions and you will open the brackets, close the brackets, and you will put the subquery. Now I want to go to the exercises direct because I don't waste your time by theory information. Now let's go to the SQL developer. Let's start using subquery. Who has salaries greater than Apple's salary? Note, assume that Apple is the last name. Okay. First thing I want to make a query, select salary from employees where last name Apple. So first thing, I just want to know what is the salary of Apple. I will execute this select statement and this is the result. His salary is 11,000. So my query will be select employee ID, first name, last name, salary from employees where salary greater than and I will take this query, I will put it in two brackets. So this query will return 11,000. So the query will be where salary greater than 11,000. Now I will execute this select statement and this is the result. So I have 10 employees have salaries greater than Apple and look to the salaries, all the salaries greater than 11,000. Okay, very, very nice. Now a very important note. You can make the subquery on the left side, but this is not recommended. For example, in the first select statement, I put salary greater than and I put the subquery. You can put the subquery first like this and you will put the conditions, but here you will put opposite conditions because this is logical. So it will be where the subquery less than salary. So it will be the same, but it's not recommended. It's better to always put the conditions in the subquery. Now, very important note, when using a single row operator, then the subquery should return also single row. This means that I have two type of operators. This operator is called single row operator, equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal or not equal. These two signs are the same, it is not equal. So if you use a subquery after this operator, the subquery should return only one row. So for example, select a star from employees where job ID equal. Here, the Oracle server expecting one value. So if you put select job ID from employees where last name you saw Apple, I will execute this select statement. It will be retrieved without any issue because I have only one employee that have last name equal Apple. So this query actually will retrieve one row, which is SA rep because the job for the employee Apple is SA rep. So in this case, I will not face any issue because this subquery return one row. Now let's see this example. Select the star from employees where salary greater and you will open a bracket, select salary from employees where department equal 30. In this case, I am retrieving many values because I have many employees in department 30. So when execute this select statement, it will give me error and remember this error. Single rows subquery returns more than one row. Remember this. Now, if I take this subquery and execute it alone like this, you will find 
that the query returns six records. So how you will put these six records here? So because you are using a single operator, just remember this. Now, the good things in the subject query that you can use it in the group functions also. For example, I want the employees who has the highest salary. This means that I have to calculate the maximum salary first. So the query will be select star from employees where salary equal select maximum salary from employees. So this one, it will retrieve the maximum salary from employees. Okay, then I will pass this result to the main query. I will execute this select statement. So this query, it will retrieve Stephen that have the highest salary with 24,000. So this means that this subquery return maximum salary, actually it retrieved 24,000 and it passed to the main query. Also, you can use the subquery in having. So look at this example. Select department ID, count employee ID from employees group by department. So I want to retrieve each department and the number of employees in each department. But having count employee ID, greater than i put here subquery select count one from employees where department equal 90 so this means that i want to retrieve the department and the count of department but i just want only the count that have greater than the department 90 i will execute this select statement and this is the result so it's very simple I try to execute this subquery alone and you will discover what is the value from this query and finally if the subquery return no row then all select return no rows for example select employee id first name last name salary from employees where salary greater than and i put here a subquery select salary from employees where last name is ddd actually this will return a null value so this means that all the query will return null value so take it a rule if the subquery return no rows this subquery will return no rows so the main query also will return no rows it's very simple now let's execute this select statement and it will retrieve no rows now let's back to the documentation you will find the information I give you. This is the using subquery to solve a problem. We talk about the rules for using subqueries. We talk about the types of subqueries. Until now, we only took the first single row subqueries that have these operators equal, greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal, not equal. In the next lesson, we will learn the multiple row subqueries and it's very simple. And also, we learn how to execute in single row subqueries. And also, we learn how to use a subquery in a group functions and also in a having clause. So, thank you for listening and see you in the next videos.